so before I um, start the story, I would like to make a special shout out to my class, 503, and all the other classes that I'm in. You guys are awesome! Our story is called Miku and the Trees. I'm Noah. I'm Aaron. And I'm Ami. Crick? Crack. Crick? Crack. Now, one day, a boy named Miku was searching for some wood to put in his fire. Miku had two options. He could, take, he could just chop down the first tree he saw with his axe, or he could drag some wood from the forest floor home to his house. Miku decided to just chop down the first tree he saw because it would be much less trouble than dragging the branches all the way home. The first tree Miku saw was a birch tree. He raised his axe and... Stop! I'm the birch tree. I make brooms and baskets for you. Do you really want to cut me down? A talking tree? Yes, I am a talking tree! So Miku decided not to chop down the birch tree. After all, he couldn't live without baskets and brooms. The next tree Miku saw was a cherry tree. He raised his axe and... Stop! I'm the cherry tree, and I make sweets for you. Healthy sweets, too. Do you really want to cut me down? Another talking tree? Yes, there are lots of talking trees in this forest. So Miku decided not to chop down the cherry tree either. After all, he loved cherries to eat. The next tree Miku saw was a maple tree. He raised his axe to chop it down and... Stop! I'm the maple tree, and I make syrup for your pancakes. Do you want your pancakes to be dry? Oh, I wouldn't like my pancakes to be tasteless and dry. Exactly! So if you want your pancakes to be yummy, please don't chop me down. So Miku didn't chop down the maple tree either. Miku said, I guess I'll just take the branches from the forest floor. After all, I know that all of the trees have something to give, and chopping any one of them down would destroy something. But as soon as Miku said these words, a strange-looking man popped out of the forest. Ah, Miku, I see you take care of nature. Here's a one. <gasps> now, whenever you want something from nature, ask for it. When you want honey, ask a bee. Ooh. When you want berries, ask the bird. <gasps> but one thing, do not use a wand to go against the nature. I understand. And Miku decided to test out the wand and see if it really worked. Bees, I want some honey. This is we'll bring it for you, Miku. And the bees brought Miku some delicious honey to eat. Then he asked, birds, I want some berries. We'll bring it for you, Miku. And the birds brought Miku some delicious berries to eat. And over the weeks and days, Miku became rich and lazy. And one day, it was just a cloudy, rainy, cold day, and Miku absolutely loved the sun. So Miku said, Sun, come out from between the clouds. I want it to be warm again. I don't like this cold weather. And then the sun came out and, and focused all his energy on Miku, but it was so hot that he couldn't stand it, and that Miku was gone. And to, and to this day, trees never talk to humans. But some people say that if you listen closely, you'll hear the trees say, if you care for us, we'll care for you. If you care for us, we'll, we'll care, care for you. you. The end.